Roger, Roger, 595. Roger, Roger, 73. All right, practice test for the amateur extra class. Very glad to have you here tonight. And uh, we're going to take uh, the 50 question test uh, and uh, see how we do. Uh, you might remember that there are 712 uh, questions in the question pool. And so if you take a 50 question test, you know, that's only about uh, 7%. So you got to take a bunch of these. And so uh, if you can, you know, use the applications, either the ARRL uh, exam uh, review site or uh, an app on your phone. Uh, take lots of practice tests uh, before Saturday's test session at the Red Cross. Is everybody going to test at the Red Cross on Saturday? Okay. Um, both Dave and I will be uh, up at uh, the Dayton Hamvention on Saturday, but please email or text us. Let us know, you know, how things turn out. We, we want to know. And if you pass, that's great, you're all set. If not, we're still here for you and we'll help you whatever way we can to get together and, and work through any, any uh, stumbling blocks or issues, so. Do we need to let them know we're coming? No, okay. no, you can just show up. The test, you need the uh, copy of your general license? A copy of your current license, uh, photo ID, um, and then $15 in, in cash or check uh, to, to pay for it. Yeah. Or is it 10? Yeah. Oh, what was I thinking of? Okay. Ten it's 10 though. He's trying to make five bucks. So. <laughs> <laughs> Tip jar is right up there in the front. Yeah, so. All right. You got your blank sheet of paper. Uh, questions one through uh, 50. Oh, and let me. All right. So here we go. Question number one. Keep calm and let's begin. Who is responsible for the proper conduct and necessary supervision? during an amateur radio operator license examination session. Who, who, don't say it out loud. You have to write it down on your paper. No, this is not an audible test. All right. Question number two. What coordinate system is often used to display the resistive, inductive, and or capacitive reactance components of an impedance? Okay, question number three. Which of the following is an advantage of a finite impulse response filter versus an infinite impulse response filter? And question number four, how can the output voltage of a multiple turn receiving loop antenna be increased? Question five, which of the following components form the output of a class D amplifier circuit?
And question six, on which of the following frequencies is one likely to find FM ATV transmissions? And seven, what do the terms L-band and S-band specify with regard to satellite communications? And when scheduling EME contacts, which of these conditions will generally result in the least path loss? And nine, why is de-emphasis commonly used in FM communications receivers? And 10, how many watts are consumed in a circuit having a power factor of 0.71 if the apparent power is 500 VA? And number 11, what is a common characteristic of interference caused by a touch-controlled electrical device? All right, number 12, what is the magnitude of the impedance of a circuit with a resistor, an inductor, and a capacitor all in parallel at resonance? And 13, how is the timing of JT65 contacts organized? And 14, what is the best time of day for transequatorial propagation? And 15, what type of logic defines one as a high voltage? And 16, what technique is used to minimize the bandwidth requirements of a PSK31 signal?
And 17, what is the term for the time required for the capacitor in an RC circuit to be charged to 63.2% of the applied voltage? And 18, what is the name of an antenna matching system that matches an unbalanced feed line to an antenna by feeding the driven element both at the center of the element and at a fraction of a wavelength to one side of the center. And 19, what is the term for the ratio of the actual speed at which signals travel through a transmission line to the speed of light in a vacuum? The ratio. And 20, okay, in this figure, what is the schematic for the not operation? Can everybody read the answer key there? Okay, good. All right, and 21. What is the efficiency of a photovoltaic cell? And 22, why should an HF mobile antenna loading coil have a high ratio of reactance to resistance? And 23, what is meant by the blocking dynamic range of a receiver? All right, and 24, what is the modulation index of an FM phone signal having a maximum carrier deviation of plus or minus six kilohertz when modulated with a two kilohertz modulating frequency? And 25, what type of wave has a rise time significantly faster than its fall time or vice versa? And 26, what is the main reason to use a charge controller with a solar power system? And 27, which of the following types of amateur station communications are prohibited? And 28, 
what information is contained in the lookup table of a direct digital frequency synthesizer. And 29, what devices are commonly used as VHF and UHF parasitic suppressors at the input and output terminals of a transistor HF amplifier? And 30, which amateur stations are eligible to operate as earth stations. And 31, why would one need to know the feed point impedance of an antenna? And 32, what spread spectrum communications technique uses a high speed binary bit stream to shift the phase of an RF carrier? And 33, how are the wavelength scales on a Smith chart calibrated? And 34, what is an undesirable effect of using too wide a filter bandwidth in the IF section of a receiver? And 35, what is the permitted mean power of any spurious emission relative to the mean power of the fundamental emission from a station transmitter or external RF power amplifier installed after January 1st, 2003 and transmitting on a frequency below 30 megahertz? And 36, which of the following is a common use of a hot carrier diode? And 37, how is the compensation of an oscilloscope probe typically adjusted. And 38, what is the typical input impedance of an integrated circuit op amp? And 39, which of the following best describes the term self-spotting 
in regards to contest operating. And 40, which of the following is typically used to construct an MMIC-based microwave amplifier? And 41, what is an OCFD antenna? And 42, what do the subscripts of S parameters represent? And 43, what digital protocol is used by APRS? And 44, which amateur band requires transmission on specific channels rather than on a range of frequencies? And 45, when may an automatically controlled station originate third party communications? And 46, what is the alpha of a bipolar junction transistor? And 47, which of the following factors has the greatest effect in helping determine the bandwidth and response shape of a crystal ladder filter? And 48, what does SAR measure? And 49, what is the elevation angle of the peak response in the antenna radiation pattern shown? All right, and last question, 50. What is indicated by a rising A or K index?
Smiles? Frowns? Let's see. Question one, who is responsible for the proper conduct and necessary supervision during an exam? Each administering VE, 1C. Two, what coordinate system is often used? That's the rectangular system. The opposite of that would be the polar system. So you can express complex impedances in either the rectangular or polar systems. 2A. 3. Which of the following is an advantage of a finite impulse response filter? Finite impulse response filters delay all frequency components of the signal by the same amount. So 3 delta. 4. How can the output voltage of a multiple turn receiving loop antenna be increased? C. By increasing either the number of turns of wire or the area of the loop structure or both. 4C. And five, which of the following components form the output of a class D amplifier circuit? We talked about amplifiers. Class A is a linear amplifier. Class B, 180 degrees. Class AB is somewhere in between. Class C is only a little bit of the cycle. And then class D is a square wave output. It's a switching output. And so you need a low pass filter to remove the switching signal components. So 5B. On which of the following frequencies is one likely to find FM, frequency modulated, ATV, amateur television, transmissions? 1255, the highest frequency, 1255. Because so FM is going to require more bandwidth than just 6 megahertz, so 6A. And what do the terms L-band and S-band specify? Well, those are the 23 centimeter and the 13 centimeter bands. And eight, when scheduling Earth-Moon-Earth -Earth contacts, which of these conditions will generally result in the least path loss? Well, when the moon is closest to the Earth, which is also known as perigee, so 8A. And why is de-emphasis commonly used in FM communications receivers? For compatibility with transmitters using phase modulation. Phase modulation has a normal rising output with the increased modulation frequency. So we need that, 9A. And 10, how many watts are consumed in a circuit having a power factor of 0.71 if the apparent power is 500 volt amps? Volt amps times power factor equals, in this case, 355 watts. That's the real work being done in the circuit. That's easy to estimate. Multiply 7 yeah. times 5. Yeah. So 10b. And what is a common characteristic of interference caused by a touch-controlled electrical device that is from the devil? All of those. Every single one of them. Touch lights, uh, as Tom would say, bad juju. And 12, what is the magnitude of the impedance of a circuit? with a resistor, an inductor, and a capacitor all in parallel, and the key is at resonance. At resonance, the capacitor and inductor cancel each other, and you're left with just the circuit resistance, so 12D. And how is the timing of JT65 contacts organized? JT65 is the Earth-Moon-Earth. Earth. That's what it was originally developed for. Alternating transmissions at one-minute intervals, 13A. And what is the best time of day for trans-equatorial propagation? That's in the afternoon or early evening, when we can have contacts from here down to South America via TE, trans-equatorial. And 15, what type of logic defines one as a high voltage? That's positive logic. And 16, what technique is used to minimize the bandwidth requirements of a PSK31 signal? The use of sinusoidal data pulses. And what is the term for the time required? Well, that's one time constant. Remember Dave said there'd be a lot of questions and the answer is always 
one time constant. And 18, what is the name of an antenna matching system that matches an unbalanced feed line to an antenna by feeding the dri driven element both at the center of the element, that's where the shield of a coax could go, and at a fraction of a wavelength to one side of the center, well, that's a gamma match. And 19, what is the term for the ratio of the actual speed at which a signal travels through a transmission line to the speed of light in a vacuum? That's the velocity factor of the cable. Uh, polyethylene is going to have a 0.66, that's the solid stuff, where foam might be up like 0.8. And open wire feed lines are 0.9 and above, so velocity factor. And what is the symbol for a knot or inverter operation? Well, that's the 5, so 20D. And what is the efficiency of a photovoltaic cell? This is why you want to keep them clean. It's the relative fraction of light that is actually converted to current. A dirty photo cell will block some of that light and you, get, you reduce efficiency. And 22, why should an HF mobile antenna loading coil have a high, re high ratio of reactants to resistance? To minimize losses, to minimize the bad resistance that's only going to heat things up. And 23, what is meant by the blocking dynamic range of a receiver? It's that point that the receiver amplifiers can give no more amplitude. They start to compress. Up until that time, you, know, you increase by a dB, it'll go up by a dB. But you get to a certain point where you increase by a dB and it won't go up. That's the blocking dy dynamic range. It's the only answer with one dB in it. And one dB. If you remember my graphic with the arrows pointing at 1 dB. And 24, what is the modulation index? Big number divided by small number, 3. And 25, what type of wave has a rise time faster than its fall time? That's the sawtooth wave. And 26, what is the main reason to use a charge controller with solar? Well, it's to prevent the battery from being damaged doing, due to overcharging. And 27, what of the following types of amateur station communications are prohibited? Pecuniary. Communications transmitted for hire or material compensation. You can have no pecuniary interest, monetary interest. 28, what information is contained in the lookup table of a DDS, or direct digital synthesizer? That's the amplitude values that represent a sine wave. It actually reads the memory, makes it, reads the memory, makes it, reads the memory, makes it. And what devices are commonly used as VHF and UHF parasitic suppressors? Ferrites are your friend, ferrite beads. And which amateur stations are eligible to operate as earth stations? Remember, any station could be used, it depends on the control operator's class of license. So any amateur station subject to the privileges of the class of the operator license. And 31, why would one need to know the feed point impedance of an antenna? Well, to match impedances for maximum transfer of power. And 32, what spread spectrum communications technique uses a high speed binary bit stream to shift the phase? Remember, there are two kinds of frequency hopping used in amateur radio, uh, uh, spread spectrum used in amateur radio. It's frequency hopping or direct sequence, and this is direct sequence. And 33, how are the wavelength scales on a Smith chart calibrated? That's at the outer ring of the Smith chart, and it's in fractions of transmission line electrical wavelength. And what is an undesirable effect of using too wide a filter? Well, you'll hear extra signals that you don't want. 
undesired signals may be heard, 34b. And 35, what is the permitted mean power? Well, at least 43 dB down. That's the 43 dB down rule. And which of the following is a common use of a hot carrier diode? Well, that's a VHF or UHF mixer or detector. And how is the compensation of, compensation of an oscilloscope probe adjusted? We did it here. Uh, we uh, connected the probe to a square wave output, and then we adjusted the tilt of the square wave. And 38, what is the typical input impedance of an integrated circuit op amp? A very high. And what is the output impedance of an integrated circuit op amp? A very low. Exactly what? You don't know, but high input, low output. And which of the following best describes the term self-spotting? It's a generally prohibited practice of posting your own call sign, saying, I'm here. <laughs> no, don't do that. And 40, which of the following is typically used to construct a mimic-based microwave amplifier? That's microstrip construction, maintaining constant impedance on the printed circuit board. And 41, an o OCFD, or off-center fed dipole antenna. It's a dipole fed approximately a third of the way from one end. And what do the subscripts of S parameters, scattering parameters, represent? represents the port or ports at which measurements are being made? And 43, what digital protocol is used by APRS? Well, APRS uses packet radio, and packet radio uses the amateur X.25 protocol, or AX.25. And 44, which amateur band requires transmission on specific channels? That's the 60 meter band, 5 megahertz, 60 meters. And when may an automatically controlled station originate third-party communications? Uh, never. And 46, the alpha of a bipolar junction transistor is the change in collector current with respect to the change in emitter current. And it's always going to be less than one. That's the alpha. The beta is going to be the change in base current to the collector current. That's the beta, but alpha is emitter and collector. And which of the following factors has the greatest effect in helping determine the la bandwidth and response shape? Well, it's the relative frequencies of the individual crystals being used in the crystal ladder filter, so 47B. And what does specific absorption rate measure, SAR? It's the rate at which RF energy is absorbed by the human body. And 49, the elevation angle. Well, if you look closely there, it's 7.5 degrees. That's the main lobe. That's the bottom lobe that's out at the, the zero dB ring. And 50, what is indicated by a rising A or K index? Well, that's increasing disruption of Earth's geomagnetic field. So that's the end of practice test number one. How did we do? <laughs> My typical thing, round seven. I guess what I get. Mm -hmm. When I do mm -hmm. at home, I always... All right. Well, let's take a break. Let's take five minutes and come on back, and we'll do uh, practice test number two.